welcome students here we will be discussing a very important question from the topic tangent to a circle so let us see the question here question is in the given figure cba is a secant and cd is tangent to the circle you see here cba is a secant and cd is a tangent to this given circle if ab is 7 cm this line segment ab is given here this is 7 cm and bc is 9 cm bc is 9 cm then we have to find out first of all we have to prove that triangle acd this triangle acd is similar to triangle dcb triangle dcb so first of all we will show that these two triangles are similar and secondly we have to find the length of cd length of this tangent okay so let us see the solution first of all let us take these two triangles in triangle acd and triangle dcb okay so first of all angle c is common in each of these two triangle angle c is common here in triangle acd this angle c is common in both the triangles this is common angle secondly this angle a in triangle ACD will be equal to this angle D in triangle DCB. Angle A is equal to angle D. What is the reason? Because this angle D is an angle between this tangent DC and chord DB. So we know that this angle will be equal to formed by the same chord BD in alternate segment. This is minus segment of the circle. So this angle is subtended in the minus segment. This angle will be equal to the angle formed by the same chord BD at the circumference of the circle in alternate segment, in major segment. So these two angles are equal. So here we can write that angle A is equal to angle B D C. Reason these are the angles in alternate segment. So equal. And you know very well that in two given triangles, if two angles are equal respectively with other two angles of another triangle, then definitely naturally third angles will be equal. So if all the three angles are equal, triangles will be similar. So this is sufficient to show that two corresponding angles of two given triangles are equal. So here these two angles are equal. So automatically third angle will also be equal. So here we can write that therefore triangle ACD is similar to triangle DCB. So this first part has been proved here. Now we will find out the length of CD. So let us take the sides in this triangle ACD, let us take the side AC and in this triangle let us take the side DC. So AC by DC is equal to in triangle we are taking the side CD and in triangle we are taking the side CB. Correct? So here AC by DC, this CD can also be written as DC and this CB can be written as BC. There is no problem. Correct? So now here we will try to find out this length, length of this side AC. So here AC is how much? AC is AB plus BC. AC is AB plus BC means 7 plus 9 this is equal to 16 centimeter. AC is 16 centimeter. 
So therefore we can write 16 and DC is how much? That we have to find out. So DC is equal to CD is nothing but DC and BC is how much? BC is already given. This is 9. And therefore by cross multiplication we can write DC is square is equal to 16 into 9 or DC square is equal to 144. Therefore DC is square root of 144 is equal to 12 centimeter. So this length CD or DC is 12 centimeter. So this is the answer of the second part. Correct? So question is very interesting. I hope you got the solution and I will suggest you to uh, have more practice of some more questions so that you have a better command over this topic. Thank you very much for watching this video.